talk about sex. And Western, the good, the bad, the ugly. This rubbing, squeezing, easing, hungering for pleasing, act of entwinement. This oscillating, penetrating, grinding, and binding puzzlement of flesh. There's clean sex and down and dirty sex. So clean sex, sanitized? Sex without attachments, like a donut, with only its hole to contemplate? And dirty sex, is that furtive sex? Sex with food crumbs and spilt wine. Sex that spills blood and tears, shit and golden showers. Like garbage swirling in the wake of giant cruise ships. Sex that leaves a smear of shame. A snail trail across the heart. Sex that bites and bruises, leaving branding marks of possession. Sex that guts the innocence from the fish pale belly of the forlorn. Are we familiar with battery ram sex? Pain is the ram battering our frozen feelings, bursting the dams of our desires. Pain sex flays our inhibition to lay bare a network of nerves, pulsing raw with the need to orgasm and thus discharge sensation. Pain sex gallops through our subconscious to reveal caustic layers of corrosion, damage hidden, barricaded, forgotten. And how about daddy, brother, uncle sex? Spreading open the soft pink labia of little girls, the puckered ass cheeks of little boys. This is destroyer sex, controller sex, nasty sex. Mirror, mirror on the wall sex. Ask to sex to prove self-worth. Am I pretty enough? Am I smart enough? dumbed down enough, tarted up enough to be seen and desired by another? Am I a fisher of men, a seducer of women? And when we take the bad and the ugly sex out of the equation, we're left with good sex. Sex that feeds our needs without robbing us at the same time. It could be Homer and Marge sex. It could be a one night stand. Friendly sex, playful sex, romantic sex, practical sex. <laughs> Powerful sex, lazy sex. The key is sex without shadow, ambivalence, or coldness. In fact, we should all have to take the Hippocratic Oath before we can take part in the joy of sex. We will do no harm. Signed in semen and cum witnessed by each other and believe so deeply that we refuse to accept harm when harm knocks on our libido. Now that's good sex. Yeah.